After a Sunday church service, the president was noncommittal about a military response to the North Korean test, but in a series of morning tweets, he said North Korea's words and actions continue to be very hostile and dangerous to the United States. Well, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We had a small group uh, national security meeting today with the president and the vice president uh, about uh, the latest provocation on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, we have many military options, and the president wanted to be briefed on each one of them. Uh, we made clear that we have the ability to defend ourselves and our allies, South Korea and Japan, uh, from any attack, and our commitments among the allies are ironclad. Uh, any threat to the United States or its territories, including Guam, uh, or our allies will be met with a massive military response, a response both effective and overwhelming. King Jong-un should take heed of the United Nations Security Council's unified voice. All members unanimously agreed on the threat North Korea poses, and they remain unanimous in their commitment to the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Because we are not looking to the total annihilation of a country, namely North Korea. But as I said, we have many options to do so. Last month, the president issued a blunt warning to Pyongyang. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Trump's August warning followed reports North Korea had miniaturized a nuclear warhead, making it small and light enough to fit on top of a missile. Seismic readings from Sunday's test suggest North Korea may have developed a hydrogen bomb. Uh, this step, uh, if it is right that they have now developed a hydrogen bomb, is, is a serious escalation in their ability to commit mass acts of murder.